Okay, welcome to Le Casa de Jersey. My name is Mark. I hope you guys can see me. I'm wearing my bold spot cover up Italia hat. And uh, I know what you're thinking. I'm, I'm going to welcome you guys to my uh, piano playing tonight. You're thinking to yourself right now oh no, not another YouTube video of a middle aged guy playing piano. Okay? Yep, that's what it is. And I know what you're also thinking. You're thinking, and not only that, he's doing it from a trailer, or as I like to call it, an RV. That must mean if he's playing piano by himself at night in an RV and he's a middle-aged guy in the trailer, he must be a serial killer. I get that, but that's not the case. Uh, I am in the middle of the oil fields in North Dakota where I work, and the housing options are very limited out here. So... Uh, I bought this beautiful RV here, um, and uh, I'm not a drinking sort of go-out sort of guy, so, you know, on this Friday night, I'm just recording some music, and uh, uh, that's kind of what I do. Okay, go what for City Wolves, the oil, you know, rough and tough, you know, us rough and tough oil workers, not going out partying and drinking, tearing up the town, playing piano in the old RV to an audience. Of two cats and two dogs which I'm sure will start meowing and barking the minute I start playing because that's Murphy's Law. Um, go Watford City Wolves! I'm actually not in Watford City. I'm in the beautiful town of McCluskey, North Dakota which actually is a lot nicer. It's People are friendlier. It's more farmy and less oil worker or dust bully. That's a word, dust bully. So um, let me introduce you to some of my fans here. The RV is uh, there's Selena, the kid, the new, the newest member of the the uh, clan. Okay, um, Bora, who had cat treats. I guess he went in to retire into the bedroom with Carly and Vinny, my dogs. I'm not even gonna wake them up right now. Um, so this is what I do. This is gonna be, you know. Now you're gonna probably hate my piano playing really despise my singing and I get that because I'm not that good man I'm not not I'm really horrible but I have fun doing it so at the end of the day that's all that matters now I'm gonna try to put this little Kodak it's not the best recording camera for like music and concerts it's a nice little camera it goes underwater and everything but in general it's not, you know, the sound quality isn't best, which might actually be a bonus for you guys. Um, oh, wait, here, here's come with one of my other fans. Carly, what do you think? Yeah, okay, I'd scratch for fleas, too, instead of watching. All right, um, this is the big concert in McCluskey here on Saturday night. Saturday night, Friday night, whatever. Um, I think that ought to do it. So, I've got all things situated here. Um, on a side note, and I'm not a paid spokesman, but I'm playing a Yamaha YPG 635. And it is an unbelievable instrument. Thank you, Yamaha. I think right now they're up to the DGX uh, 650. I'm going to buy one of those when I get back home to Jersey. Uh, it makes a marginal piano player sound a lot better than they actually are. It does a lot of stuff. I'm not a paid spokesman. I don't have a dog in the fight. But uh, if you're looking for something good, go with the Yamaha weighted keys. Really good. I know you're thinking these glasses look kind of strange. Carly, get over here. Carly, Carly, come here. These are crooked because somebody, I'm not going to mention any names, Somebody bit the edge of my glasses. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and unfortunately, in McCluskey, North Dakota, you can't just go to an eye doctor and get a pair. So I'd have to drive like to Bismarck and my aunt and wait for weeks. So I'm just going to wait. I'm going home in a week or so. When I go back to Jersey, two new pairs of glasses. So I know it looks kind of stupid. And if you wouldn't have bit the edges, they... Anyway. So, uh, I'm here. Go Watford City Wolves, you know, doing what most oil workers do here on Friday nights, playing piano in their trailer. Swear to God, there's nobody buried under this trailer because I know that's what everyone's thinking. Um, so, once again, as I say with all my videos, 
if you don't like it you know if you stumble upon it you know you're bored and like I always end up on 8 million YouTube videos and you want to make mean comments and tell me how bad my piano playing and singing is absolutely have at it go for it because at the end of the day I could really give a crap what you guys think just a few people I care about what they think so uh, now on the same token if you want to leave nice messages you know I love that that would be good I'd like to get some overseas messages people saying you know you're you're a good piano player we enjoy your videos but all right so I'm gonna play uh, I'm gonna play dedicate a song tonight you know last time I dedicated a song to her I coded it because of our situation but at this point in time I could care less it doesn't matter it's in the open I am dedicating this song to the love of my life Tammy Tammy, this is going out to you, baby. Um, now, it's called, ironically, get this, Love of My Life. And it's written, it was written, it was recorded by Sammy Kershaw, who kind of faded out of the picture, but he's really, really good. But it was actually written by Keith Stagel, who I have absolutely never heard of, and Dan Hill, who I definitely heard of. Dan Hill. Okay, first of all, first husband of Faith Hill, and he also wrote a couple of really great songs in the 70s and 80s. Sometimes when we touch, that was one song, and can we try, just, that's Dan Hill. So, you know, Dan Hill writes great hit music, records hit music, and he scored Faith Hill. Dan Hill is the man. He's got it going on. So, uh... I am going to uh, try to attempt my way through this here. I hope you enjoy. Tammy, this song is for you. It's called Love of My Life.
That's all I got.